I have one singular favorite writer, which is Joyce Carol Oates. And she as actually was a professor at Syracuse University where I went. And I didn't realize when I was a student and taking um, creative writing and fiction classes that um, Joyce Carol Oates was a student and she also had been a professor there. Um, but her books changed my life, honestly. So I have a, you know, a favorite author all the time, but I think that Joyce Carol Oates stands out for me because she's the one who made me say, this is what I want to do with my life. I want to change language. Because she changed language. And I think you know, lots of writers do that. I, th I think they just change the way we hear language and the way we read it. And I think that that is really exciting. She would write a lot about like pimps and prostitutes and ghettos and things like that. So being an African-American person from New York City, I knew about that stuff, but I wasn't terribly exposed. Mm -hmm. um, and then I would write, a, read about these things in Joyce Carol Oates' pieces. So I thought, oh, she must be some alternative, you know, white woman who lives in the ghetto or something. So I asked my professor and she said, Kim, <laughs> Joyce Carol Oates is a white suburban woman who lives in the outskirts of Chicago. And so I said to her, well, how does she write about all these things? And she said, she has an imagination. And I thought, oh, this is what I want to do. <laughs> this is my life. I want to make up stuff and have them so convincing and change people's lives and change people's perspectives about these things. So I just was so enthralled with the idea that she was like an older, white suburban woman writing about pimps and hookers and sluts and crack and <laughs> I was just like that is so exciting to me. Mm -hmm. So that's she is my favorite author.